First things first, I have a big life update and it's that I have officially acquired a Bachelor of Arts degree in design. Okay, yeah, so I have officially graduated from the Münster School of Design here in Germany a few days ago and I thought to like finish everything up, I would react slash reevaluate slash tear apart my old application portfolio I handed in in 2019. Mainly to show potential future applicants like what the portfolio might look like, what to expect maybe, but also since like I said I applied back in 2019, take everything I say with a grain of salt. However, I did take part in the actual evaluation process I think like three or four semesters ago which means I did actually great, I guess, future applicants and took part in the decision of like who moves on to the next stage and who doesn't. Um, just the portfolio part though, not the um, like on-site test afterwards. That was because of COVID, it was harder to um, help out with those kind of tests. Also, I graduated with a 1.3 GPA, so I do like to think that I figured out what the MSD is all about. But first, a few basic informations about the school I applied to and got accepted into. It's the Münster School of Design and they have four um, majors you can take. Um, illustration, Media Design, Communication Design and Product Design. And you can take, like you do choose a focus, like for example, I did my bachelor's project in illustration. But over the degree itself, you're encouraged to try out different um, majors as well. And it's a very good thing, for example, to show the curiosity already in your portfolio. Now, as for my specific application, the MSD was the only school I did apply to. And I got in on my first try with four waiting semesters. Um, <laughs> I got in with an overall grade of 3.0. And compared to my friends who are all goddamn nerds, this is a... I don't want to say it's a very bad grade, but I think most of my friends got into the school with like a one point something. Which honestly is just to show that you can get accepted even if you're not already a full-fledged designer or something. But before we start with my actual portfolio, I thought it would be interesting to give a little bit of basic information about myself. Um, because first of all, I really don't think I'm anything special in terms of like you know, other applicants. Like I said, I ha I got accepted with a 3.0 and most of my friends got accepted with a 1 point something. I also did not have the opportunity early in my life to get like extra art classes. I didn't even really have proper art classes in middle or high, well, middle school, but not really high school. I was not the child that was always drawing. I like, I was one of the children that j spent just as much time at the drawing table than climbing trees or whatever. And even in high school when most German schools, as far as I know, offer art as one of the main classes, like the most important classes. Uh, I did not have that. In art class, we didn't actually hone our own skills, but instead we learned things we can do in the kindergarten or school, um, you know, with the children. Which is not to say that like, oh, woe is me, I had it so much harder than other students. What I'm trying to say is that you don't have to have like all those extra things to be able to get accepted into art school. Also, compared to other students that I've met in my like during my studies, I just learned about the fact that you can draw for a living comparatively late. But like during my abitur, which was roughly three years before I actually applied to the MSD, and before that, like yeah, I liked drawing and I did actually like learn anatomy and everything, but by far not as intensely or focused as now like when I started studying or also when I learned that there was a possibility for me. Uh, compared to a lot of my friends or other students who finished other educations before that, uh, I think the only thing that might be considered special about me, you know, for the application was that I had four waiting semesters, which I don't remember how exactly they weighed in on your, um, yeah, on your application. But I had two semesters because I finished my education as a child caretaker slash, educa slash educator. And also I spent a year in New Zealand, which is also two semesters. A little added thing about the New Zealand thing is that when I went to the open door, nope, open house day, 
at the MSD way before I applied, uh, they actually recommended, like strongly recommended doing something else before studying and traveling abroad for an extended period of time was one of the things they suggested. And I could make an entire video about why that was really very, very helpful, even though I made the decision to go to New Zealand unrelated to that suggestion. But um, yeah, if you have the opportunity to study abroad, spend a working holiday abroad, or I don't know, do anything else to gain life experience, basically do that. At least that's what I think kind of helped me in my application process. So yeah, I think those are the relevant basics. If you have any questions about like, where I'm coming from or like what they're expecting or you know any relevant questions or non-relevant questions just throw them in the comments. But now let's get to my actual portfolio. As you can see it's very very oh my god it's so dusty. Um, if you see dust on here no you don't. Uh, I've literally not looked at this like I think I got it out of um, wherever I had stored it away once because I was looking at something, but like I have not had a proper look at this for years, like literal years, maybe since my application. I remember, roughly remember what's in here, <laughs> but everything you see is my genuine reaction. A little disclaimer in connection to that, it might seem like I'm unnecessarily mean or like ripping into my portfolio, but these are still my own works from five years ago. So I'll see a lot of things um, I would have loved to do better back then just because you know in five years you do learn quite a bit and I'm also way harder on myself than I would be on others because I know that I'm not feeling hurt by my own feedback you know and also I'm trying to give past me feedback that would have improved her application you know and also including her grade so I'm not trying to be mean or anything I'm just being as direct as possible because you know I'm, I know I'm not being hurt by my own feedback and also, 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 present me feels way better about my own art if I see many things I can improve about past me's art. Because, you know, that means I just learned a whole lot. So if you think I'm actually being mean to myself, it's actually quite the opposite. But yeah, about the application. Every semester, uh, the group of applicants gets a different theme they have to build the portfolio around. For my semester, I, th I think we got pretty lucky. I really liked the theme. It was, I pack my bags and take with me, which I think might like, it's, it's like a, I guess, kindergarten game. Uh, and I think I've heard it called freestyle bag. Like basically the game where person A is like, I pack my bags and take with me a toothbrush. And person B says, I take my bag and take with me a to toothbrush and a pair of socks or whatever. And that just like keeps going until one person makes a mistake. You can be pretty lenient with the theme and how you interpret it for your portfolio. But for me, I took my journey from finishing my educator training to New Zealand and Hong Kong to actually starting my, my, my bachelor's degree at the MSD, which obviously back then I didn't know I would get accepted. But I think this optimism shows, you know, that you're self-confident, even though to be honest, I really wasn't. <laughs> But yeah, they didn't know that. And my goal with going through my own journey basically was that I wanted to show my dedication because it was like, you know, I mentioned that I spent three years basically working towards this application, specifically at this one school. And yeah, it was like this way of interpreting the topic would also just show my personal journey. So I would show myself, my personality, my development, my thought process and everything through the actual year abroad slash, you know, also the, the elements of the education, training, and the fact that I do really, really want to do my bachelor's degree at the Minster School of Design. Like, yeah, I don't know how well I managed to actually show this with the portfolio, but this was at least my thought process. Okay, so let's get this thing open. Also, if there's a spider in here, I will scream and run away so fast. I really hope there isn't, but we will see. <laughs> Okay, the first thing this is, ah yeah, just, you know, for everything you hand in, you can write a little text about your thought process and everything. I'm not going to go through everything because I will explain that while showing you the picture itself. Um, something that is very important is my portfolio sketchbook, 
which was required, it might actually be more important than the actual finished works, to be honest. Because um, in here, I really don't think uh, <laughs> you'll see much. Oh, I did put in some of the final thingies or like sketches, brainstorming phases, some, some material tests, everything. Oh yeah, originals, um, basically everything you do for your illustrations from the very first brainstorming session to potentially the finished thing, put it in here. Because that's basically what they want to see. They want to see your thoughts, pr thought process, they want to see how you work, they want to see that you don't just settle for the first idea you have, but like actually reevaluate it and try to find other solutions for the specific thing you want to portray. This is also, oh my god, this is the cheapest sketchbook you could buy at the arts and crafts store. So the sketchbook itself, itself really doesn't have to be anything fancy. However, it is very important. Um, I'm gonna go, oh my god. <sighs> okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go with the portfolio that I had to hand in first and then probably say a little bit about the on-site test, but not much because I don't think it's gonna help you much because it's different every time. And also, I really did not, not good. It was not good. Um, but yeah, this is also part of the second thing. Yeah. And now we get to the actual portfolio stuff. Um, I don't exactly remember how many works I have in here. They do give you a specific amount of works you do have to have in there and also I think a maximum amount. Um, but yeah, I already told you about my idea of starting with my educator training. And even though I really did not, I mean, I worked a lot of, in the kindergarten, it's definitely not the area I would be most interested in. I did, just because of the way the education is structured, have the most experience with kindergarten, uh, with kindergarten children. So I wanted to, you know, build in one of those puzzles. I honestly, <laughs> now looking at the, first of all, this is a mess. I don't know, what is, what is this? Girl, girl, what is this? I, I think I wanted to show, I don't know, like for younger kids, they have puzzles that are connected to the actual thing. But like you, girl, don't. Just don't. Maybe put in like a little stick or something so you can pull it out or whatever, but like this is a mess and it's ugly and I hate it. Um, however, <laughs> the idea itself I actually like. And I don't know, it's, it's, it's cute, I guess. Um, I put this in here also because like I said, um, they do encourage to try out different um, majors, I guess. I had worked with wood before because we had like classes in middle school, but I did not, I would not say I have experience working with wood and everything, <laughs> which you can obviously see by those giant holes between the wood and the actual puzzle piece. Um, this is, <laughs> I, I basically just like clued two pieces of wood together. Like this is not, I if I would have tried to apply to PD, like product, product design with this, they would have kicked me out so fast. Oh my God. Um, again, like the idea that, oh, this actually got damaged. All right, good to know. Um, yeah, good idea. Very questionable execution. <laughs> <sighs> Jesus Christ, this is for sure another one of those nice idea, very bad execution. Um, um, I tried to take the theme of like riding the train. Like here I legit took a pen, put it on like the cheap sketchbook I had with me. Like the pages were supposed to be like the kind of loose paper you have stashed in your bag and you just like doodle on it because you got time and you're bored on the train and he had just put the pen on the paper somewhere and like for one station i think i just like let the train move my hand which nice idea but like what the hell are you trying to say with that this is these are some song lyrics <laughs> because i do like writing on the train and it was like the idea of like oh i start writing while i'm the train is standing and then i it gets messier as the train moves and here i did some sketches of other people on the train which what the hell is this what is this jesus christ <laughs> this is if you want to include like i guess this could have been adjacent to figure drawing do better just just do better um also story wise this was like oh i'm quote unquote taking the train to the flight to 
um, you know, go on the New Zealand trip. Um, so the train took me to the plane. This is a photo I took on set plane. And then I redrew it in different media. <sighs> Here, I guess I like the execution more than in the other ones, but like the idea is kind of very boring. I guess my idea was to show that I can work with different media, but like also this is a photo, like it just, not even like a good photo, it's just a photo I took with my phone out of the window. This is, wh what happened to the contrast, girl? I know what happened to the contrast, because back then I did not have different um, pencils, so I just had, I think, a HB pencil or something, and I think I did the entire thing with this one pencil, which is ridiculous. The watercolor pencils look better, still anything but good, but like definitely better than the other two, and this one is just random colored pencil, which is also not a medium I had a lot of experience with at the point in time, on just blue cardboard. <sighs> have a better idea, girl. Just, yeah. Oh my. <laughs> um, in real life, I went to New Zealand. Well, I um, went from Germany to Hong Kong, had a 12-hour stopover, went to New Zealand, and then on my way back to Germany, I spent a few days in Hong Kong, and that's when the photos I took as references for these two illustrations, um, you know, when I took those photos. <sighs> I do like this illustration. I don't know why, it's it's very weirdly cut off. Um, like, the composition is not nice. I don't... <sighs> For my skills back then, this is okay. This... I, I actually, actually, I do think I might want to redraw this, because I still want to, want to and have to study backgrounds, and I do like the idea of it. And I, I remember I really, really like the, uh, the skyline at the harbor in Hong Kong. But, like, what is going on? This one is legitimately just a different view, like zoomed out and like the horizon, like a very low horizon, like the, the ground is like below where the photo was, or like the picture was drawn. And here it's like, oh, it's on the upper half. Woo, new concept. <laughs> oh, like this is, it could have been a visual, like visually a nice idea if there would have been a point to it other than, oh yeah, I was in Hong Kong and I wanted to show that I technically can draw landscapes, but like this is barely a landscape, so <sighs> this is a nice idea if I had put something in there other than, hey, I took a nice photo and used it as reference. I guess this one is a way better work, like collection of works rather, because back then I don't think I've, I had done a lot of food illustration, but it was something I was very interested in and I did do quite a few while I was traveling. I do have to say I'm still very, well, there are obviously things I would like to improve, but I'm still very proud of most of these, like especially these three, especially the stinky tofu. Don't know what kind of brush I used here, I don't know why I wrote it there like that, I don't know what my thought, thought process was there, but the <laughs> sketches <laughs> themselves are, are kind of okay. Uh, and I think I did try to take the idea of like spot illustrations for like editorial illustration or something done by a better artist or like redone these today I could see how they could be used maybe also in a, a like a cookbook or something but for the love of god don't put that here like if you want to put the title somewhere use an actual font or like be good with handwriting <laughs> like this looks it looks like a, a sketch you know like the illustrations are rendered enough for the skills back then, but just the weird, not even 100% opacity uh, brush I used makes makes all of these look like sketches, even though I remember I was so, so proud of these, and I still see the value in them today. Oh, this this was a cute idea. Not sure what the, what the storytelling in these is, especially with this one. It's confusing that the little character I drew is not actually in the shadow. It's like she's just as bright as the light, the lit area. Also here, like these are actual poses a human could be in. I don't think a human would put, uh, fit into a hot pot, pot. But you know, the idea, I love that. Um, I should actually start drawing on actual photos I took again. Like, I don't know, the idea is very cute. Um, <laughs> But yeah, it's once again like, oh, I was traveling. Woo! <sighs> yeah, I really, I really didn't manage to actually communicate what the trip meant to me. 
But again, I do like the combination of drawing on photos because like drawing is illustration and photography is mostly media design, I guess. But it would have been a nice opportunity to be like, hey, I know how to take photos and also incorporate them into my illust illustrative work. <laughs> but these are obviously just like random snapshots of me traveling, which also could have been a nice idea if I done more with it, I guess. <laughs> oh god. Um, full disclosure, I think I just wanted to show that I know how to do space, but also that really was not... <laughs> this was not the way to do it. What? What is this? What is this? It's just colors slapped onto each other and I drew um, constellations I like. Again, like... This is the Southern Cross, which is the way, like one of the ways you can find north in the Southern Hemisphere. And these are the, the constellations that help you on the Northern Hemisphere. But what is this? There's no storytelling in this. It's just like random. It's so random. Oh my God. Um, <laughs> oh Jesus. I Those pictures together are a nice idea. Like actually now that I think about it, the idea is still nice. My idea was um, taking, you know, the the constellations that are relevant to the northern and southern he hemisphere and translate that into a tattoo, but like... You could have done that better. I do have to admit, I remember this being one of the works where I was just like, damn, I need something... I don't remember if it was I need to draw, like, nor more figure art. Because, like, there are no pre people in this art so far. I feel like I accidentally focus so much on trying new things that I forgot to Sorry for the uh, interruption, that was a very important uh, phone call I had, I had to take But yeah, I do think that I focus so much on trying new things that I forgot to actually so show my skills and the things I do do on a regular basis Like, you know, the anatomy is okay this doesn't really show much, but if I would have shown some actual figure drawing or like illustrations with people that are other, like something else than the little funny little figure I did in the photos before, I think I would have had a way better impact with the works I was showing. Ooh. <laughs> the amount of times where I'm like, oh, nice idea, not great execution. Um, the little watercolor illustrations, like, I think these are just watercolor with some colored pencil details. Um, I do like them, especially the kakapo, I really like them. Uh, these are birds native to New Zealand, and I had a lot of fun drawing them and everything, and I'm still proud of them. Like, this one is also very, very nice. <laughs> and I remember I felt so smart because there was this... <sighs> Like this website where you could turn your handwriting into an actual font. And that's what I did with this. I think it does work okay for the actual text, but like that's not, that's, I, I should have, honestly, in general, I should have just gone with existing fonts. Because there's a reason not everything is written, like handwritten. Um, again, maybe for a children's book it would have worked, but the concept for this was kind of like an educational book about like maybe a biology book or something and it doesn't work it just doesn't work what is the background it's just like a solid greenish gray the fonts no i don't know just nice idea not well executed also i think i could have stuck it better onto like the bigger cardboard because you can absolutely see the lines i left with the glue stick but I don't know, I guess this is nitpicky in comparison to the other things. Ah yes, we have another one of the travel photography things. I do feel like these bring way more personality, to be honest. You know, here, this is kind of nice because like the character is interacting with the environment. Um, kind of same... Yeah, yeah, like it basically it's just the character interacting. For the Hong Kong one... Hold on. This is... Like, kind of interacting, but basically just, like, sp standing behind it or, like, jumping behind it. This, like, they're, they're interacting, but, like, they're just barely interacting, if that makes sense. Um, as opposed to these ones, you know, like, actual interacting. Like, the, the poses are way more dynamic. The, these are kind of the same picture, just, like, different contexts, but 
yeah, at least I'm showing that I can show different dorky expressions. I don't know, I, th I feel like this might be my strongest work for this project, even though I could still improve on these. Ah, okay, I think these are illustrations that, um, the ideas ex existed before that, I think, but then I used the same idea and redeveloped the illustrations. Because I needed something like, I wanted something dreamy to show, uh, put, like put at the end. This is also, in terms of the first part, this is, these illustrations are the most me, I guess. Like, you know, you have the starry sky, you have actual people, uh, well, one character in each of them. Um, which would have been very interesting. Like, I like the idea of like different color schemes. I could have made it with like maybe different times of day to make the color scheme make more sense. Uh, and also show that I can actually portrait different times of days. Um, the illustrations, the background illustration, like this one is decent. This one is very basic and this one is still pretty much non-existent. But I do see where I was going with this for the illustrations. As part of the entire project, I don't know how much sense this makes, but could be better, could be worse. It's In terms of just the work, I think this is one, like these are some of the strongest ones. I, I did, I should have printed the smaller or something because like the fact that they touch just X gives me the X. Um, okay, this is the start of part two. The first one was about the actual theme. And I think we were allowed to put like maybe nine illustrations, maybe less. I don't remember. Honestly, I don't remember. Please, if you apply, please check the amount of illustrations you're allowed to put in. But you were allowed to put in extra illustrations. I think that you've done before. I'm not even sure anymore. But, you know, works that show your skill and your interest and everything, your personality, unrelated to the topic. I am, I am honestly very scared because I have no clue what I put in here. Oh no! Yeah, we, I, mm, mm. My face is burning right now. They're not that bad, really not that bad. But oh my god, I, no, what is, I... <sighs> but what is this? What, what, what is this? Oh no! Honestly, quick tip, K-pop. <laughs> Don't know if I would include these today. I, I did... I, Overlay and luminosity and other layer modes, airbrush stuff. I'm sweating so hard right now. <laughs> okay, okay, this is this I can talk about. This, you know, th this is this. <laughs> These are again not good or anything. I practice, I guess. I know I tried to get a gradient, but like, what is this? What is this? Uh. <laughs> and this is the the uh, this is basic as hell. But what is this? What what is what are, what was I trying to say with this? What is any of this? What 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 does any of this even mean? What what is reality actually? Yo, I'm I'm straight up feeling dizzy right now. <laughs> yeah. This is what is this? Actually I think I might remember what this is, but actually maybe I was what is no what is this? This is this this, this is nothing. This is there's a book, great. Offensively bad, but like this is also just not much. Um, and I think this is also, yeah, this is the last. Let's, let's grab, let's grab, I don't know, let's, um... Let's put this one there. This, the, let's look at this, because this, I think this is the strongest work. No, actually, actually this one, maybe. I don't know, one of these. Yeah, also, funny enough, looking at this, like, remembering what I was doing back then, what my art in general was like, these are the things I should have shown more of. I do like the idea of, like, um, if I say, like, one more time, Jesus Christ, of, you know, showing different things. For example, the wooden pu uh, puzzle in the beginning. I like the idea. That's a very, very nice idea. But <sighs> the other things are like, oh yeah, I, I like to try things. And I do think that my passion and willingness and just borderline desperation to learn new things and try new things was a strength during the entire application process. But for this 
portfolio if I just leaned more into the actual skills I have, which, you know, funny expressions maybe, or like show more of like in interacting with the environments, show more actual characters. Like this is this is not a character design. This is a random character with a with a jacket. Um, this character design it might have been more interesting to show sketches on how to develop them as part of this work like maybe start the journey instead of with a random tra train whatever the hell that was show the development of this character maybe bring show how i developed this and everything and not just in the in the sketchbook just show like an actual character sheet or something like that but i just simply think back then i wasn't aware of the importance of it i guess undervalued my actual skills, undervalued my actual experience and just leaned way too much into the I want to try new things, I need to show that I, I'm willing to try everything. I mean, it did work out for myself. Uh, however, I do think um, that the waiting semesters greatly benefited me. And hey, like I said, I, I just finished my degree with a 1.3. Like, I for sure got better. And like I said, I might actually redo some of these illustrations. But yeah, Jesus Christ, that... You might have noticed, especially the end was kind of painful to uh, look at for me. Um, I'm my my face is still so hot right now. Okay, for the end, I will just very shortly cover the second part of the application process because I don't know I don't have that much to say about my works, and also I don't think it's gonna help that much <laughs> because to be honest. Um, that semester was kind of like I've talked to many people who started in various semesters and the exercise for my semester was bad and uh, I, I do hope they improved on it. I think they did. At least they didn't bring the very atrocious idea back that basically fucked over everyone <laughs> in my semester. But um, yeah, I'm just gonna get into it. The idea was actually really nice. Um, remember how the theme of the first part of the portfolio was the whole like, I pack my bags thing? Basically like go on to a journey. And basically the second part of the portfolio process, the on-site exercise that we had a few hours for, maybe three or four, I really don't remember. We had to produce basically a souvenir we were taking with us from the journey we covered in the first part. Um, the crux of it all was that they were giving out like clothing hangers that we had to incorporate into our projects. And like, Jesus Christ, hold up. This is my work. It's it's bad. Um, this was the, the hanger we had to work with. And it's, you can twist it kind of, but it was so hard. And like cutting this, like I cut it into multiple parts and everything. I think in my room there were like five people uh, and we had to share one pair of scissors or whatever it was that a person brought. There, there could have been other ways, you know, to in incorporate this, but cutting this was like the most, like the smartest idea, I guess. <laughs> my idea behind this was like recording the my travel route and kind of have it like in uh, like children's doctors offices where you have like this per these pearls that you can actually move. It did not work, obviously. I also didn't have any pearls with me. Um, so even back then I hated this with a burning passion. It was legitimately just like, I'm just gonna try to savor this thing any way I can. And I can, I can promise you, everyone I talked to, they got fucked over by this wire thing. But yeah, if you have any specific questions about this part that I might be able to answer, please let me know. I'm absolutely willing to answer anything, it's just that I don't think my work helps with that. So, um, <laughs> hope it was at least interesting to see the thing I created. <laughs> Okay, so that was me reviewing or rather cringing at my old application portfolio. Not gonna lie, it was it was a right <laughs> to look at the works that apparently were good enough to get me into um, you know design school um, and help me to get my 1.3 Bachelor of Arts. So um, yeah, while I did kind of tear them apart, I I still see their value and. Like I said very at various times during the video, I still understand my thought process behind it. I think the ideas were nice. 
I hope I did help someone. I'm pretty sure I at least entertained my uh, friends I, who I know in real life and especially the ones that studied with me because oh my god <laughs> they know my recent works pretty well. I do think they are kind of shocked or surprised. I don't know. Maybe they're not. Maybe they expected my, my um, portfolio to be like that. But um, for anyone else, I still hope that it was at least kind of educational or entertaining to watch. Uh, like I said, if you have any questions regarding uh, the application process at the Münster School of Design, any other questions regarding the Münster School of Design, maybe art portfolios in general. I, I can try to give more general tips maybe as well. But um, yeah, I think that is it for now. And I hope I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.